Deal, 5'9", senior from Springboro, Ohio. Megan Horn, 5'11", senior from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Kate Kroniger, 5'9", senior from Pittsburgh. Hannah Malik, 5'6", sophomore from Raleigh. Horn, Malik, and Groninger all score in double figures on the season. Somehow made it through to Horn, but then Harrell smothers that shot. And Malik will prevent the transition look with the foul. And that was a good foul right there because her, her running mate, Groninger, had turned her back to find Hobson, so the lane was there. If she hadn't have created that contact, it would have been an easy basket for Harrell. First foul on Hannah Malik. Leads the ODAC in... Three-point mix per game, averaging 2.7. Only at one in the win over Fairham on Saturday. And it's been quiet so far tonight. 0 of 2 from beyond the arc. Hobson too strong. Follows the miss. Goes up again, but too much height between her and the basket. Yeah, and just under three minutes of action in the first. Flaherty now sits down. You can see the frustration on her face. They really didn't run anything in that possession. Just took a shot. Still had 18 seconds on the shot clock. That is the danger of Hannah Malik as she buries the three. And that's the difference in the two possessions. That time, Washington Lee got the ball into the paint, and then she was able to make that step back three when they created some open space. Good quick response. Looks definitely on the ropes. 16-point margin. Brandstatter, tough one, no. All penetrating, kicking it, making good passes on the other. Big block for Alkiza to deny Jordan Deal. And the Maroons turn the momentum here. Right there, good senior move. Harrell stopping at the elbow. Randstadter mm -hmm. called for steps. Keep uh, Vandiver on the floor with her free throws. She's been about one out of two when she's gone to the free throw line. You know, do you try and keep the ball in the hands of your primary shooters? Do you get Malik with that 96% free throw percentage back out of there on the floor? But right now, Peter out there, especially the way she has shot the three this year. And Hannah Malik, exactly who the Generals want going to the line. Rose Sandy gives the foul. Yeah, and that's what I would do right there. Get it to your good free throw shooters and let them ice this game at the line. Malik is 24 of 25 at the foul line this season. On the other side, Renee Alkiza is 28 of 30. Neither has enough attempts to qualify for the league lead, even though they're way up in the 90s percentage-wise. She was able to knock Malik, knock down that first one, second one's up, and good as well. And there you see the offense for defense substitution. She was on the floor to get fouled, and she did her job. Pushes the lead back to nine. 38.4 seconds to go. He has the ball now on the half court. Yeah, I know Sandy got the offensive rebound. Looked like they might have tried to take another shot. You don't want to foul Malik, but really no choice with 27 seconds left. No time to be selective here as Malik goes back to the line. Washington and Lee after tonight. Bridgewater comes to town. Visits Lexington on Wednesday. They've got Guilford and Easter Midnight on the road on the last two weekends. And again, we'll see WNL and the Maroons face off in Lexington next Wednesday. Malik just automatic hit the foul line, 29 of 30 on the season now. And that's, a, and that's such a huge weapon to have when you're trying to close out games. Somebody that you know is going to step up and knock down free throws, and she's done exactly what she's needed to do here tonight to help preserve this lead and probably preserve this win for the Generals. The lead is back up to 11. It, the turnover is going to go down for Akiza being out of bounds, but that goes on your inbounder there. You've got to allow that person to get there, if you're coming out to the three-point line, to get their body turned back towards the basket before you make that pass, and Akiza, just no way she could secure that. Runes will give the foul here and send Malik right back to the line. I just don't understand. Actor stood there with the basketball for about three seconds before she found Malik, and Roanoke didn't foul her, so... I think, uh, you know, you battle back that way. You make it a two-possession game. You've got all, all the momentum on your side, but you're not able to, to kind of get over the hump, sort of takes your heart a little bit there at the end of the game. Hannah Malik, the ODAC leader in three-point mix. Just one of those tonight, but she is helping WDL put this game away at the foul line. Five out of five now in the final minute. Make well, it six of six. If you can make free throws, you can get six, eight points at the end of a game almost every game, and so that's going to put you up almost in double figures if you just knock down your free throws. 
will stay in first in the ODAC as they improve to 13-1 in the conference. Roanoke falls to...